Simon Landholt. We are here at the Baltic Development Forum Summit in Helsinki. Among other things, we have discussed branding of the Baltic Sea region. Yeah. And uh, you coined the term nation branding. Yes. Can nation branding be used to brand a, a region like the Baltic Sea region? Yes, it can, although I really regret coining that term nation branding. It, it's a phrase I meant in a very, very restricted sense. I meant that countries and regions and cities and villages, they all have an image. And I made the parallel with the brand image of a, of a product or a company. And that image is very important to them. It's very important to their prosperity. If you have a good image, everything is easy. And if you have a bad image, everything is impossible. And that's really all I meant when I made the comparison between places and brands. You call for practical action. Yeah. Uh, how should we go, go about this? What should be the next main steps in, in this branding process? Well, I think the way that a, um, this region, if it's successful, it's going to acquire a good reputation anyway. But how long is that going to take? Judging by the speed at which countries' reputations catch up with their real progress, we could still be having summits here in 20 or 30 years' time and complaining that nobody understands us. Yeah? So what we need to do is we need to try to close up the gap between progress and reputation. And the way that you do that is not by talking, but by doing. We need to prove that this region is what it claims to be, dynamic, fast-growing, creative, talented, etc. And that it ex Today you also presented three stories, yeah. uh, stories about the Baltic Sea region. What was the purpose of that? Well, the purpose of presenting three stories was to kickstart the process because the problem with this whole subject is it's very difficult and it's very interesting. And we could easily spend another five years discussing the theory of how to brand a region and whether it's possible or not or whether it's right or wrong. And I think it's very important that we now go ahead and we start doing something about it. Now, normally I think it's quite wrong for uh, a group of people, self-appointed brand strategists for a country or a region, to come up with a brand strategy and then deliver it. I don't think you should do that. I think it belongs to the region and the people. You presented three stories, but to agree on a one single story for the whole Baltic Sea region, how, how can we do that? Well, I, I think we should uh, immediately abandon the idea of getting everybody to agree on anything. That's never going to happen. That wouldn't even happen in a tiny country, let alone a large region. Um, what we need to do is to get a coalition of the willing. We need to get a sufficient number of people representing as far as possible all the countries in the region and as far as possible all of the significant sectors. Who so when, when we have agreed on a common story and we have got a coalition of the willing, yeah. what, do, what do you see as the as main obstacles or tasks at that, at that stage? I don't believe in obstacles. Um, I think the tasks we've got to perform is we've basically got to keep our eyes and ears open the whole time for best, for best practice. The really innovative, really interesting, genuinely, objectively world-beating initiatives that are going on and then do whatever we can to promote them. And that's really the interesting question because the thing I don't know and the thing that we yet have to discover is what kind of body is going to do this. It's perfectly easy to get together a group of people who are happy to, to, to identify good stories. But ideally, this group should have some power and it should have some teeth. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to have money, but it's good if it has money. Because we, what we want this group to be able to do is to actually touch these organizations or individuals or initiatives with its magic wand and say, you are saying the things that we want the world to know. And so we're going to cover you in money or we're going to introduce you to the press or we're going to put you on a global stage, or we're going to connect you with three governments who can support your work. 